Group hug. Sorry group for telling your first, but we all got to get in here. Everybody. Mario Cacciaro, surrounded by his relatives yesterday as he left Menard State Prison, his murder conviction overturned by a state appellate court judge. Today he was flanked by his family as we talked. I'm not an angry person. I just want to help prevent this from happening to the next person. Cacciaro was charged with the 2002 murder of 17-year-old Brian Carrick over an alleged unpaid drug debt. It allegedly happened in the stock room of a Johnsburg supermarket. Carrick's body was never found. It took prosecutors three trials to find a jury that would vote guilty. But later, the key witness recanted his testimony and said he lied under oath. The appellate court ruled that the state's evidence was so unreasonable, improbable, and unsatisfactory that a reasonable doubt exists. A prosecutor can frame somebody that he just happens to not like and there's no problem with it. Not a slap on the wrist, nothing. He just moves on to the next guy. Cacciaro's goal now is to become a lawyer and get into politics. He wants prosecutors to be held accountable for cases like his. And he still wonders what really became of his friend. Brian Carrick. All the time. It's, it's one of those questions that you're saving uh, to ask God uh, other than what's the meaning of life.